Welcome back to Andrew Says on Rebel News. We hope you're enjoying your weekend. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation is set to receive even more government money while small businesses are struggling during lockdowns, restrictions, and even forced closures in some areas of the country. In a proposed round of supplementary spending of nearly $80 billion, which we of course can't afford, $34 million is set aside for the already taxpayer-funded network. This will raise the yearly federal budget to, and brace yourselves for this one, $1.3 billion. The rest of the budget, which is meant to, quote, help Canada thrive and succeed, end quote, according to the Treasury Board President, is also meant for COVID research, business support, and salaries. Somehow, a struggling TV network fits into this somewhere. I don't understand. Why are they getting this money, you ask? Because no one is watching them, which of course is the fault of the virus. Of course, it can't be their bad programming or slanted news coverage. It's coronavirus's fault, of course. The claim that the money is to offset the, quote, COVID-19 impact to advertising revenues and operating costs is obviously ridiculous. It's simply because people do not watch them. Just look at the NBA versus the UFC, for example, two competing sports. One is doing poorly, the other is booming. And it's because of their messaging, because of their programming. But the CBC was bad before the lockdowns too, don't forget. Earlier this summer, it was apparent that the network was performing poorly. As it turned out, just 3% of the Canadian population tunes into the network. That's roughly 1.1 million viewers. Yet the entire country must pay for it. 97% of people pay for something that just 3% of the population care about. And people do say they care about it, even though they don't watch it. That's your money paying for riveting programs like Battle of the Blades, ooh, and Pen15, great edgy name, very edgy. And don't forget, You Can Ask That, which, quote, confronts prejudices and breaks down taboos in society. All these taboos down at CBC, how do we keep up? The CBC also has almost 7,500 employees, and they get $1.3 billion. That's $173,000 per employee that you are paying for. Now, in contrast, Rebel News has 1.4 million subscribers, not viewers. Check out our About page if you want that real number. Could you imagine the outrage if we received any government money at all, let alone over a billion dollars? That's fine, though, because we don't want the government's money. People actually watch us. Whereas at the CBC, you can get $173,000 per person for failing and losing money by putting on shows nobody watches. And guess what? If they did make money, they have no obligation to give it back to the government. They just keep it. If they make advertising revenue, the CBC keeps it. They don't pay it down, they don't give it back. $1.3 billion, that's a lot of bad pro-liberal jokes. You know, from government comedy show 2B under the communist regime. 127,000 Twitter followers, $1.3 billion, and these are the jokes. 11 comments. I rest my case. Don't forget to go to rebelnewsstore.com where we have plenty of merch and new masks in case you want to be part of the fun.